Hi, this is Bob Vineyard, your Medicare expert with the Georgia Medicare Minute. Why is Medicare so confusing? Well, there's a lot of reasons why. We'll touch on some of them, but mostly we're going to focus on how you can navigate this Medicare maze and not get lost. Uh, Yogi Berra once said, if you don't know where you're going, you might end up someplace else. And nothing is more true than in going to uh, getting into, into Medicare. For most people, it's going to be completely different from anything that you've ever done before. About 70% of the population that is turning 70, excuse me, turning 65, has never purchased health insurance before. They've always had, uh, had employer coverage, group insurance coverage. And sometimes they had choices of maybe two or three plans, sometimes choices of maybe 10 or 15 plans, and sometimes it's here's your coverage, take it or leave it. Um, but Medicare is different in a lot of ways. Original Medicare has no networks. So, you know, that's, uh, that's one big plus as far as I'm concerned. Remember, if you like your doctor, you can keep your doctor. Well, with Original Medicare, you can certainly do that because there are no networks, you don't need referrals, um, you don't need to be conscious of, well, the hospital's in network, the doctor's not. My wife went through that just recently on her plan. So it's, it's a lot easier than um, a lot of people think at first, uh, at first blush. That being said, you might still want to talk to a Medicare expert in order to get some advice, a guide, if you will, somebody who's been there before, and that would be me. Um, I have been in the health insurance business for over 40 years. I've been working exclusively with Medicare clients since 2010, so that's uh, we're coming on nine years right now, and I'm on Medicare myself. Uh, every year I talk to a lot of people who have questions about Medicare, and I do my best to answer them not just answer them, but also make sure that they understand what we're talking about. Having a basic understanding about Medicare is uh, pretty much required if you want to, uh, to figure out which plan is best for you. Beyond that, there's, uh, there's, there's just so many things to, to take into account. I know a lot of people say, well, the Medigap plans, the Medicare supplement is the other word for it. Medigap and Medicare supplement are interchangeable terms, just like Kleenex and tissue. But a lot of people say, well, all of the plans are exactly identical in every way, except for the price. Uh, and that's true. All of the F plans are identical, except for the premium. All of the G plans are identical, except for the premium. So it seems like the logical thing would say, well, I'll just go with the plan with the lowest premium. The problem is that's a changing landscape. We're now in 2019. There are currently about 50 carriers that are writing Medigap coverage in Georgia. Uh, that's up from about half that. If you go back maybe four years ago, there were only about 20, maybe 25 carriers that were writing Medigap coverage. And of the 50, uh, we probably had during that last, uh, during that last four or five years, we've probably had maybe 60, 70, 80 carriers enter the market and then leave. So there's been a lot of turnover. So which, which plan and which carrier, more specifically, which carrier do you think is going to work for you over the long haul? My advice is look for a carrier that has been in the market for a while and hopefully will be in the market for uh, many, many years to come. But at the same time, the market is extremely volatile. And in the past, I could tell a, a client to, well, let's pick the best plan for you and you can ride it out for a long, long, long time. Unfortunately, that has changed in the last few years with the, uh, the carriers that have come into the market, some of them with very low rates, some of them will be gone in a year or two. But in any event, it really has put a lot of pressure on the market, not just uh, the old established carriers, but some others that uh, have been around for a while that have simply decided to leave. One carrier in particular had been in the Medigap market 
for over 40 years and they just couldn't cut it with the new market so they they bailed on the market uh, a couple of years ago so there's a lot of volatility out there uh, again in the past I would tell clients find let's find you a plan and, and write it out uh, the last three years or so I probably have uh, moved about maybe 30 to 40 percent of my clients from the plan they signed up for when they were 65 to another plan. So when people say, where should I go? Which, you know, why don't I just look at X carrier XYZ because they've got good rates. And my response is, yeah, they've got good rates today. Does no guarantee that they're going to be good in the future as you go through renewal. So you may think that you can find the best plan for you at this particular time but I can almost guarantee you within three years, if not sooner, you're going to be back in the market looking for something. Well, what are you going to do then? Are you going to go through the same process again? Are you going to go online? You're going to fill out information. Your phone's going to ring off the hook. Are you going to talk to carriers who can only tell you about what their plans are? They're not going to tell you about anybody else. Well, I've already told you there's about 50 carriers out there writing business. Are you going to con contact all 50 of them? Of course, every time you go online, you run the risk of your information being sold to 10, 15, 20 agents. And so you can get called numerous times. How many people are you going to talk to before you finally decide, okay, I've had enough. I'm just going to make a decision and, and move on. Uh, that's a big mistake. That really is a big mistake. I tell people, if you want to look around, if you want to do it yourself, that's fine. I'll give you some pointers. I'll even give you rates. Tell me which plan you're looking for, and I'll be glad to email you the rates, the current rates for every carrier that offers that particular plan in your area. So there's really no reason to go out there and uh, continually fill out your information online or even talk to 5, 10, 20 different agents or more. Give me 10 minutes. That's all I ask for. Just give me 10 minutes. Ask me any questions you want. The only information I'm going to ask for, ask of you is obviously your name, uh, phone number, email address, date of birth. That's it. Oh, zip code. Uh, with that information, I can answer any question you want about the rates. And beyond that, we can talk about, you know, any other questions you may have about the way Medicare works. Now, most of my clients are folks who are turning 65. I also have a number of clients that uh, every year, um, you know, they get their renewal increase from their current carrier and they feel like, well, gosh, this is really out of line. I started out at $110. Now we're up to $170. I really think I can do better. And maybe you can. Um, those, uh, those phone calls are usually very short, uh, I, five to 10 minutes at most. And I'll, again, I'll stop by getting, I'll start by getting the basic information from you and I'll give you a rate uh, or a range of rates based on the plan that you're, uh, you have and that you're looking for. And then the next question will be, how's your health? Because once you have been on Medicare Part B for six months, you can change your plan at any time, but you do have to go through medical underwriting. And I'm not going to waste your time. I'm not going to allow you to waste my time by going through all these gyrations and so forth, only to find out that you have a certain health condition that will preclude you getting new insurance. So you'll have to keep, the, uh, keep what you've got. So again, I'm just I'm not going to waste your time whether you're turning 65 or whether you're shopping for rates. This it's not personal, it's just business uh, as as they said in the, in the Godfather. And that's the way I feel. Uh, you know, I'm I I'm not a uh I, I don't like to I, I don't pressure people. I don't I don't like to and I don't pressure people at all. I figured this is your plan and your money. And all I want to do is help you understand your options. Beyond that, if you want to allow me to be your agent, well, that's great. We'll move along at your particular uh, deal with your time frame. But it's always up to you. And like I said, a, a short 5-10 minute conversation. 
should be enough to give you an idea as to whether or not you feel like my information is helpful or not. So that's the way I work. And this is Bob Vineyard, your Medicare expert with the Georgia Medicare Minute. You take care. Have a great day.